In the beginning, the world was empty. Darkness was everywhere, but God had a plan. God separated the light from the darkness. Let there be light, he said, and the light turned on. He called the light day, and he called the darkness night. That was the end of the first day. Then God said, I will divide the waters. He separated the water in the clouds above from the waters in the ocean below. He called the space between them sky. This was the end of the second day. Next, God rolled back the waters and some dry ground appeared. He made plants of many shapes and colors. He made mountains, hills, valleys. This was the end of the third day. God put a shining sun in the sky for daytime. He put a glowing moon and twinkling stars in the sky for nighttime. This was the end of the fourth day. On the fifth day, God made swishy fish and squiggly creatures to live in the ocean. Then God made the birds that fly across the sky. On the sixth day, God made animals to creep, crawl, hop, and gallop. Then from the dust, God made the most wonderful creature of all, a person. God named him Adam, and on the seventh day, God rested. God spent six days making everything that we know, but it wasn't finished until he made us. I'm 007 God's Gamer, and I wanted to give you an idea of what my goal is with doing these videos on this channel. I have two small children, and I wanted to be able to engage them in a way that would teach them the Word of God uh, and important lessons and um, things that they need to know in a way that uh, would be short and sweet, entertaining. Uh, so that they would hold on to it and then also give them um, video game gameplay that they could watch and I know that the content is good for them. Um, I want to uh, provide anybody that has kids that they need something clean and um, enjoyable to watch that they may even learn something useful. But overall, I, my main goal is to teach my children these things and if it reaches other people's children or other people that's great too proverbs 22 verse 6 says start children off in the way they should go and even when they are old they will not turn from it in matthew 19 verses 13 and 14 says then people brought little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them, but the disciples rebuked them. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. When he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there. I'm just trying to follow in the footsteps of Jesus and teach little kids and start them off right and give them an opportunity to have a foundation that they can go on from here, including my two children. Um, and if you enjoy these, great. I, I really hope that uh, maybe this reaches out to a lot of people and makes a difference. But most importantly, I'm trying to make a difference in two little children's lives that mean a lot to me. Howdy, y'all God's children. This is 007 God's Gamer. On our first episode, uh, we are starting a brand new world. 
I, I know that uh, my kids would really like to see this because they ask me questions all the time and being able to have videos that they'll have firsthand to see how I do it. Um, I'm not the best, uh, I'm not the worst, um, but we're gonna do this on survival and easy, no cheats, just to see how we can do and there will be uh, blessings and there will be tragedy and uh, we'll get through them all together and we'll learn how to react and what to do when things happen and we'll see how long this lasts. I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Big old world to create. A few moments later. I hope we get a good biome to start out with. Some wood. Oh, that's great. This is already good. A little choppy there for the beginning. Everything's loading in. Okay, we got caves. We got wood, mountains. Lots of mountains around. Acacia trees, birch. Yes, this is good. Okay. As always, first order of business in every Minecraft game is to start hitting trees. And I'm sure there are going to be plenty of other people that have better knowledge than I do and better, uh, tactics, but, uh, we're gonna do the best we can with what we got. We're gonna get a couple of trees. And we're gonna do... We don't want to be too far from spawn, because it doesn't know how long it'll take us to find a sheep to make a bed. isn't bad. Kind of would like to be. We're going to go a little bit ground level though. Start right there. This is good. Okay, so what I always do is my first home, I cut it out of a mountain. That is what I always do. All right. Let's see here. Let's do this the old, this is just a better way. Uh, let's get this. Oh, I gotta figure out all the... Here we go. Figure out all the different key binds, because I'm playing on a system I'm not normally used to. There we go, that's how you do it. Click it up, drag it out, alright. We got ourselves sticks. We need to make us some weapons. One hour later. Oh, I know what we're doing wrong. We didn't set the crafting table down. He didn't actually make it. Now, there we go. Okay. playing Java so that I can play Switch with my daughter and it has some different keybinds but we'll get used to it as I said we'll learn as we go we've now made it to the Stone Age if you don't know what that means it's the time period many years ago where all they had was stone tools and weapons to defend themselves with. No guns or gunpowder or anything like that, just stone. I think times would have probably been a lot harder than it is now where we can't just get somebody to microwave us a pizza or something. Alright. So when I always first start out building my house, I 
always hope that as I'm building it out, I run into coal so that I can make torches. But generally, that doesn't always happen, and that's okay. What we may do is check where the sun is and go find one of those caves real quick. Okay, we're directly up. Usually you can find some coal that's just sitting on the edge of caves or on the side of the cliffs. This one's primarily a dirt cliff, so you won't see it as easily. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Well, one. One's not the worst. Gotta hope a mobs don't spawn down here while we're down here. The creepers like to sneak up on you and blow up. You hear a sound, turn around and look up. Total shock fills your body. Seven's a good start. We'll start there. Actually, to make us feel a little better, are we not allowed to craft torches early on out of your pocket? Okay, you are. It's weird that it didn't show me. Strange. This doesn't seem to be too bad of a cave. Honestly, we get quite a bit of coal started. Then we can start cooking food and other things. Need be. We'll see how far we can get going in advanced and stuff. I'm not trying to speed run this at all, it's just basically, I enjoy playing Minecraft, so just doing the fun stuff that we can. We'll get to dragon fights eventually, but it'll take a little bit of time. I'll try to teach y'all some of the tricks I've learned along the way and how to farm and make it easier and how to build certain things. And who knows, maybe I'll let my kids decide what kind of a house I have to build and different things like that. I'll have to keep track of how many times I die. so we can sleep through the night. We almost we tried. Let's see if we can get a run start. Oh, that was bad. Hey, we did it that time. Right. 
there a second. I thought that my crafting table was a fox. There's a cow over there. That's a good sign. That means livestock can spawn here. And another thing is if you can't find coal, you can always burn the wood for charcoal and it works the same way. Because you can easily make a stove. Here's what we're going to start with. Slightly recessed. <laughs> Put a little on each side. Yeah, let's go ahead and make one of those. Let's go ahead and make one of those. It's showing me doors. Maybe I don't have enough wood for doors. Let's see. There's the sticks. Could be the sticks too. Yeah, that shows the sign. There we go. Stack of doors. Yep, it's getting dark. Oh, let's bring this inside. I'll do this right here. And that'll keep us safe tonight. Alright. And let's widen this out a little bit. Let's start about here, widen it out. I always like to go five high. That way I don't get too claustrophobic. I feel like I'm getting squished in in the walls. And I don't like to throw away too many tools, even the wood ones at the beginning, but this is so slow, we might have to do it. Naturally spawning pockets of dirt, but we could be getting close to the roof, so we may not want to make this first room too wide. It seems like this way is good, but then again, I don't like to have a lopsided room either. So, here's spider outside. Sounds like he wants to be friends, but I think he might be lying to me. Alright, pickaxe broke. Oh, I already have. I was trying to grab the one to craft. That's funny. Alright, grab the stone. Pickaxe, here we go. Getting an upgrade. Achievement unlocked. Saving tasks like this while it's nighttime is best. Because then during the daytime I can go searching for wool. And then that won't be a problem anymore. Wool and food. Probably want to start grabbing seeds and making wheat so we can make bread. That's probably the easiest, one of the easier ways. The only thing is um, waiting for the wheat to grow. And then using the seeds and spreading it. Takes a little time, but eventually you get to the point where you're just throwing away seeds because you get so many of them. But we will show you how we get to the seeds and all that stuff when we get there. And what's good about this is this just gives us a lot of supplies to make more tools and 
things like that for when we get out there going. Since this is such a kind of boring task, what are y'all's favorite colors? Can you guess mine? That'll be the interesting question. Can you guess what my favorite color is? My kids should know it. I'll tell you in a moment, but I want to give everybody a chance to guess. Alright, time's up. My favorite color is forest green. greens like you see in tree leaves and things like that. I like grass too, but it's not quite as as dark. Oh, pickaxe broke. Good thing we have all this stone. Alright, we got an extra door. See our inventory starting to get clogged. So the next thing we want to make is a chest. And you don't want to only make one, you want to make two, because one, you only have this much space. Three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can anyone tell me what three times nine is? Three nines. Or nine threes. The answer is 27. But now, when you add another one next to it, it turns it into a bigger chest, and now you have one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now it's twice as much space, and you get to keep it in a bigger area. So if you wanted to consolidate things and keep them separated, you could just do one chest, and you'd have this much space. But now you have this much space. Can anyone tell me what nine times six is? Nine sixes or six nines? It's 54. As your body grows bigger, your mind must flower. It's great to learn. Math is power! It's Schoolhouse Rocky, the chip on the block of your favorite schoolhouse, schoolhouse rock. 54. It's a pretty big number. You wouldn't believe how fast those chests will fill up with all the stuff you end up collecting while you're running around. And you're just cleaning out this room, we're already at three stacks of cobblestone. Two hours later. That's a good start. The sun's coming up, so we'll be able to always want to carry around some blocks with you in case you need to build up. We do have this furnace that we need to set down. We'll put it on this side. We will take, let's do half. We'll do the rest into torches. Forty-nine torches, which on this version that I'm playing, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually put torches in your left hand and be able to put them down, which is kind of nice. On the version you play with the Switch, which is the Bedrock, this is Java, the Bedrock version, you can't do that. You can only put a shield in your left hand, which is a little challenging. We're gonna throw away our wooden tools. Two of those will make four of those, and we'll make two of those, and one extra sword. 
you might be wondering why I make so many things with the stone that breaks so fast that it's better to just go ahead and make you some extras. And I always tend to try to leave me one here. You know, since we're not out of room, maybe we won't throw those away yet, just in case we need them, in case we die. Maybe we can get a quick grab. All right, let's go see if we can't find some sheep. Unfortunately, we don't have shear, so we can't just shear them. So we'll have to take them out. We need their meat anyway. And if anybody has a problem with that, I'm sorry. We're not vegetarians in our family. We, uh, we abide by the rise, Peter, kill, and eat. We go hunting for deer and other things like that. We don't just go hunting for fun. We got chickens here. We do it to help provide food for lots of people who can't provide for themselves and also for us. Pigs, all right, we've seen every livestock animal except for sheep. There's a couple of sheep, there's a few sheep. Oh, hey, even better. Oh my God. Sorry, sheep, we need a bed. Is that a, how deep is this? Don't want to accidentally fall in. All right, we should have three, which should be enough for a bed. And eventually, we're gonna start growing things, so like this sugar cane to make sugar. And all the flowers you see, whatever color they are, you can make ink and color them differently. I'm kind of just looking, because as I already told you what my favorite color is, which is green. Oh, those are sunflowers. Those are daughter's favorite flower. It's also her favorite color, yellow. Let's go look at them. What's funny about these is they only ever point this way. No matter where you plant them, you can only ever see them when they point this way. Yep, I'm starting to get pretty hungry because I can't run anymore. So we're going to have to go cook some food up. Man, there's a lot of sunflowers. I was kind of hoping we'd see a... Oh, there's pumpkins here. That's actually pretty handy. Oh, and as I said earlier, we are talking about seeds. doesn't always drop seeds, but it can. And seeds are good to get chickens to follow you too. Because they want the seeds. Yep. But this is interesting find. Just a bunch of pumpkins just sitting right here in the middle of the God has provided me with pumpkins. I don't know a lot of people that just think that God doesn't have anything to do with video games or anything like that. But something that I've always been told is that God loves the things that we love and that we enjoy to do, and especially if it's things that promote him and getting people to be followers of Christ and God's children, then I think he's probably going to be for it. We can't just, we just can't let these things uh, consume our everyday lives. We should enjoy them, but not, not do it all the time. No all-nighters playing Minecraft. Gotta take a break. We're gonna see if we can get home so we can cook this because I can no longer run. There's more sheep. Orange? What color do we want the bed to be? I probably should have thought about that. I'm probably gonna choose orange. We could just make it white because we already have white, but yeah, it's kind of fun to make make it a color. 
I haven't really made an orange bed because those orange flowers, you don't see them. Oh, look at that! The cherry blossom trees. I think I... I don't think I missed that before, so what I'm thinking is is that I'm on the wrong side of the mountain. That's another thing about running around is trying to remember where you came from. Sometimes I run coordinates and I may turn those on eventually to make it easier to remember how to get home. There's nothing wrong with that. But then it's also tr fun to try to remember which way you need to go. I really don't think I would have missed those cherry trees. Ooh, there's lava nearby. You can hear that blub blub blub. That's the lava. <laughs> if we don't find our home soon, we might be in trouble. I feel like we might be getting close to it though. And who knows, maybe I just didn't see those cherry trees when we first started. There's pumpkins over there too, lots of them. Interesting. I don't think. Man, I might have just missed those cherry trees, huh? pumpkins right there too. I don't remember this. Oh, I hear a zombie. He must be underground or hiding under a tree. But the sun is coming down. it the wrong way. Maybe we were on this side of the mountain and that's why I didn't see the cherry trees. I remember seeing the acacia trees from a distance, not quite this close though. This way is the right way. Well, I think this might be the right way. Oh, got an egg. Yep, I remember us running into chickens pretty quickly. We may make it just in the nick of time. Oh, look 
Look at that. We found it. Something I should have done. Oh, I've got the torches in my hand. Oop. That's another thing. You can't place the torches if you have a block in your hand. It'll do the block first. So you got to have like a empty hand or a wood. There we go. We made it. Let's put those in there. And we got pumpkins. Uh, let's do this. Pull that out. We're gonna make three of those. Three of those. And then we'll make a orange bed. Let's put it right there. And you'll see, in case you didn't know, it's dark out. And just to show you what it might be up against. Just to give you kind of an idea. So once it starts getting dark, the mobs, or monsters, however you want to call them, start spawning. Oh, look at that. There's a village over there. That's another good thing about nighttime. Maybe that'll be the last thing we do for this video, is go and check out the village. That's another really easy way to get a bed right there, too. See, here we go. Got an archer on us. That's a skeleton archer. Those are the ones that are harder to take down early on. It's not always easy to dodge their arrows. But he came over here, so you want to scoot to the side and try to make him miss. And always aim high on their head because it does more damage. Yep, he took down some of my health. But yep, there's a spider. I really haven't seen a creeper this game. Which is interesting. We heard a zombie. Those are the different mobs. Alright, let's see. We got our meat cooked. Now that our meat's cooked. We will get all full healed up. And this is what's important about a bed, as you can see how it was nighttime and there were monsters. Achievement Sweet Dreams. And what that does, you see it says respawn point set. That means if I die, it'll spawn me here in my home, which is nice. Uh, the thing about the day and nighttime, the spiders, when it was nighttime, would come after you. Now, sometimes they still do during the daytime, but most of the time, they don't do anything. And you'll see this archer, he's not happy about me, but he's going to come out in the sunlight, and he's going to start getting burned by the sunlight, because the monsters do not like the sun. And if he stays out there too long, the sun will take him out. There it goes. And what's good about that is it still drops stuff. It doesn't drop experience, which is your green bar down there above all the weapons and tools. That's your experience. Your hearts are on the left, food's on the right. It probably should have gone through the basics, honestly, but <laughs> we're new to this too, so. All right. I know my daughter would be desperately asking me to go check out the village so that's what we'll go do we'll drop off our extra stuff and we'll go check out that village
Let's go check out that village. I'm starting to get used to the surroundings, so I should be able to find my way back home pretty easy. Oh yeah. It's a pretty big village too. Made out of acacia wood. See, they got their farm already going and growing. This is probably pumpkin, but it could be watermelon. But growing them in the middle is not going to work. We'll go through that later. But see, they had red beds. I could have free red bed. Or an orange one. There we go. So far, no chests. They have horses. This is something nice. Is this one that can give us wheat and bread? And the villagers don't mind. Interestingly enough, we haven't seen any yet, but... They should be around here somewhere. This is an interesting farm. It's all multi-leveled. Ooh, more wheat. Oh, there we go. There's a farmer. Can you get out of your home, buddy? We got a priest, I believe is what they're called. With the potion maker. Don't forget, I can be wrong, so I don't know everything. Oh, here we go. Here's a chest. Look at that bread. Ooh, and a saddle. So we'll leave them the short grass. Although we could take the chest. Free chest might be nice. Try to keep track of which houses we've been in. Check this one, nothing here. Let's get all this wheat. Because we'll be able to grow our own wheat for sure. I'll show you, I don't know if it, yeah. You can make, per each hay bale that we get, we get nine wheat. And so we say we take that nine wheat. Then with the wheat, oh, it's not gonna show me that. I may need a crafting table, but you can. Yeah, it's not gonna. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, probably need a crafting table, but you can make bread. And that's the big key. Let's get bread. Nothing doing here. Oh, look at that. There we go. What, it, it actually may be watermelon seeds then that are all over the place. Excuse me, Mr. Sheep. Alright, let's see. What do we got up here? Cartographer. He's got paper and sticks. Take the sticks and the paper. Okay. They got banners too. I don't really want a brown banner. Another cartographer. A lot more paper. The cartographer, by the way, is a person who makes maps. In case you didn't know, oh, there's more. Hey. Okay, so I've gone through that one. I've gone through that one. Do we check this one? We'll do a quick double check. We did, okay. So much handles, so much bread that we can make. There's so many handles, so much bread we can make. Man, that's deep. Gotta be careful of that. Got anything in your barrels? Nope. Nothing in the 
barrels. It's an interesting building. Nothing here. More farm this way. Oh, there's a. We'll go check that out real fast. It's a broken nether portal. Oh, hey, there's cat. Don't have any fish, Hannah. Can't tame it. Let's go ahead and eat this so we can keep running. Oh, I do have bread too. So I can't go a hunger all over the food. Look at that gold. I don't think we have the right pickaxe for gold though. I think you have to have metal. So we'll wait on that. But there is a chest of flint and steel. Blast protection. Obsidian. I know it's silly. Might as well wear it. Gold is the weakest armor and weaponry that you can make. But gold's handy because you can make mine rails with it and trade it with the uh, pillagers in another. But that's a pretty cool find. Especially getting a free flint and steel. Nice. And then to mine obsidian, you need a diamond pickaxe. Harder to come by. We got bread. I don't think we need to take out any cows right now. <laughs> Where did it that one? Oh, this is a smoker up there. We could get a free smoker. Oh, there's a chest here. More bread. Or, I mean, wheat, sorry, to make bread. Pork chops and a smoker. I think the smoker is what the guy uses though to claim his role, so we probably won't take that. In case we come trying it. This is an iron golem that protects the villagers from anybody. So if I went and came in, if I went and hit one of the villagers, he would attack me. <laughs> what are we hanging out over here for, boys? Hmm. Uh, uh. Indeed. Uh. Mm. Let's go up top. Look up top. Oops, sun's starting to go down. This will probably be our last check right here. Ooh, most of the food up here is pretty grown. Oh, more barrels. And another odd structure. Okay. Home's that way, so we'll go that way. A little trick is water will stop you from taking fall damage. And you can travel faster in water, but you see those bubbles. I'll start to drown if I stay underwater too long. There's certain armor, a helmet on um, enchantments that you can put on there for like aqua affinity, which lets you dig underwater better and then respiration which makes you breathe underwater longer there's our house I think we made it just in the nick of time that would be our motto alright put the pork chops in over there and then yeah now we can see it Three in a row, that's why it wouldn't let me craft it in my pocket, because you can only do a four. So three in a row makes bread. But now if we take these, and we do all of the hay bales we got, that gives us that much wheat, and then we can turn that. If you, yeah, I could have done this the easy way. Look how much bread we have now. I think we're pretty much set. Of course, we make melon seeds, grow melons. We are in a pretty good spot. I think that is where we are going to end it for today. Until next time, I hope God blesses you, and I hope you have a blessed rest of your day.
Thanks. Bye.